I'm going to introduce our next speaker. Um, Pascal uh, Cheval. Uh, Pascal is from France. She, okay, I know I, I, I butchered that. Sh, sh, I'm not even going to try and do the French pronunciation. Um, Pascal has been around uh, in the Mozilla project since the Netscape days, uh, as I have. So, do you remember that old dinosaur uh, logo of Mozilla? That's Pascal and I. Uh, we're the dinosaurs. Um, and he's, uh, before he, he worked uh, in tech, uh, uh, little known fact, um, Pascal was a furniture salesman. So take that as you can. Um, okay, so I think he's ready to go. If you click the thumbnail there, you should be, yeah. And then if you command shift F. Okay, I'll let you talk, I'll do that. <laughs> It's so sad to do it on the Mac. <laughs> yeah. Keep this one. So that's the great full screen mode in Firefox Mac. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why I yeah, don't use that. <laughs> okay, um, so um, nice to see you. My name is Pascal, as he told you. I've uh, been in the project forever. Uh, and I'm working for the release management team uh, on the uh, Nike Reboot project. So um, first, maybe a question. Uh, how many people use Firefox Nike in the room, just that I know? Okay, so that's... A third. So the, I hope that at the end of the talk, like the two thirds that don't use Nightly, we'll try it. <laughs> so what's Nightly uh, for those people that don't have it? Uh, that's Firefox with the code that was just uh, uh, checked in. So that was the code from yesterday and often the code from the morning. Um, that's the six full weeks of our train model. Uh, we have a, we release every six weeks a new version of Firefox. Uh, and uh, first it goes through the nightly stage and then Aurora and then beta and then release. So that's not final work. That's work in progress. There are bugs, it's expected, and that's why we need you. Um, many experimental features. So, so the, the thing that is not so nice is like it's a bit more crashy. It's not as stable. But the nice thing is that you get to experiment all of the new features in Firefox weeks, months, and sometimes even a couple of years before. Uh, some, because some, uh, some features take a very long time to, uh, uh, to get in the, fi uh, in the final release, like uh, multiprocess, for example. So it's awesome. Use it. Why do we need the Firefox Nightly users? Um, so basically, this is a community talk. Uh, we need Firefox Nightly users because we need your feedback. Uh, we need to know what's broken. We need to know what uh, was working and is no longer working. We need to, to know which websites are no longer working with Firefox before it reach, reaches the, the big audience, the, the, the hundreds of millions of people. Uh, we don't have many nightly users. Um, if we had a lot more nightly users, um, that would definitely help us. That would help us uh, f um, prioritize and work on crashes. That would help us uh, find regressions, uh, that would help us having a better support for uh, Mac OS and Linux because we have so few users on these early pre-release uh, channels on, on smaller platforms that it's hard to find, uh, uh, to detect all the bugs before they hit release. So one other reason is uh, very important this year is that we have quantum. Uh, you might have heard about it, but we are uh, merging some features from Servo into Gecko. Servo was our experi experimental rendering engine. Uh, it's great. Uh, it uh, allows using uh, multiple uh, cores to process CSS. It allows using the GPU. It's much more modern, but it's not for the end user. But there are some parts that are really cool, and we want them in Firefox. So currently, we are uh, merging this code. Yesterday, uh, the Servo repository was uh, 
put into the uh, Gecko uh, repository as a vendor uh, branch. Uh, that means that by the end of the year, you, you will have a brand new Firefox with a new engine. That means we're going to break a lot of stuff. Uh, so we will need a lot of feedback, a lot of uh, uh, what was working, my website is no longer working, the uh, CSS is broken, um, this, this is uh, bad, this is a regression, this is faster, this is uh, not faster. Um, so this is also why we need more nightly users, because all of this work is going to happen on nightly. So for many months, uh, nobody will know about what the quantum is like in, in real life, except nightly users or people that compile it. And one very important thing is that I think uh, that Nightly is a great uh, vehicle uh, to uh, get our technical uh, community involved. Like we have a lot of people involved in Mozilla, uh, but I think we didn't get such a great job uh, involving the technical community that we have. Uh, they are tens of thousands of people that uh, use Nightly. We don't have tens of thousands of people that report bugs on a daily basis, that write patches, uh, that uh, talk with the developers, and that bring us um, their, their ideas. So, so there is something that has to be fixed there. And I really hope that we can grow the size of this community, get the people already using Nightly more involved, and the people not using Nightly involved in Mozilla. <coughs> So who are they? Um, so usually when I talk to my colleague, they tell me, yeah, that's Linux crowd and the, the people that go to FOSDEM. And that's not true. <laughs> Most of our users uh, are on uh, Windows. Uh, so we have a bit more Linux users than Mac, yeah. Uh, but, uh, but that's not the majority of the people. The majority of the people that use Nike, they're on Windows. There is a difference with the release channel, like. We also have a majority of people on Windows, except that we have a lot of Windows XP on the, on, on the release channel and a lot of Windows 10 on the nightly channel. So of course these people are not totally representative of what we have on the release channel, uh, but uh, it's not that far. Uh, who are they? Uh, where are they? What uh, language do they speak? Um, so it's interesting that uh, uh, we have Firefox users uh, all around the world. Uh, we don't have Firefox nightly users all around the world. Uh, it's uh, only a few countries. Uh, 15 countries do like 70% of our user base. Uh, and that's uh, mostly uh, the US, Canada, uh, Western Europe, uh, Russia. Russia is a, is a big one. Um, and, and Japan. Uh, so that's, that's not great. Uh, there's a lot of people that could give us feedback, that could tell us their bank is broken in Cambodia, and we don't know about it. Uh, we know about it when they file bugs, uh, uh, when it's based on the release channel, so that's not great. The other interesting thing is that uh, most of the Nike users uh, use the English version. Um, it's not because we are all great at English. Look, you can hear me, so I'm not great at English. Um, it's just that for years, it was impossible to find the localized versions. People thought they didn't exist. Uh, but actually, they were there on the FTP. So, uh, so almost all of our users use the English version, except the Russians, uh, because they had uh, set up their own uh, download website, uh, because we were not doing it at Mozilla. Um, so that's not great either, uh, because we also need uh, feedback on the quality of the localization. Uh, we need people uh, to use uh, something that the end user in their country is going to use, and most of the people, they're not going to use the English version. So if there's some text that uh, goes outside of the box that is unreadable, or that just doesn't make sense, we don't know, uh, because you, people use the English version. So that's the map of where our Nike users are. Um, nobody in Africa, uh, basically. Um, so South, South America is not great either. Like, we have really a lot of people in, uh, in Brazil, and that doesn't look great on the map. So that's really something to fix. Like, it's not just countries that uh, have uh, lower internet penetration, people don't have access to computers. No, we, we have very low numbers, very low nightly numbers in countries where there is a, a general education, there is good internet access, and we have lots of Firefox users. So we miss something. There is something that is not, it doesn't feel right. Uh, so, eight months ago, uh, I started uh, the Nike reboot status as part of the uh, uh, release management team um, to see what, 
what could we do? What could we do to get like more nightly users? What could we do to get them like more involved? Uh, to get some more information on crashes? Uh, to give you an idea, we have so few crashes on the nightly channel that we don't know if a crash is going to, ex to become explosive on the release channel or not. So when we have to prior prioritize uh, work between two crashes, we don't have the volume to tell us, oh, that looks, that looks like it's going to be a lot of crashes on the release channel, or, or maybe it's going to be 15 crashes on the, on the release channel because some guy uh, is using uh, Firefox on, uh, on a poor PC uh, on a risk OS uh, platform, and that's nobody. Uh, we don't have the volume to, uh, to make the informed decision. Uh, to prioritize the work for developers. Um, so, as I told you, that was not a big focus of Mozilla. Like, I think we always took for granted that we had a nightly community that was uh, providing feedback, um, and we didn't see the gem that was in this, uh, uh, in this community. Um, so there was a lot of things to improve. Um, so, we did a lot of things in the last eight months. Uh, first, we have download pages. That's amazing. You can download uh, nightly. Um, <laughs> believe me, <laughs> it was complicated. Uh, for a very long time, the localized version were only on the FTP. Uh, so, so people th thought they didn't exist. And there was a separate uh, uh, download site that had been set up in 2011 by uh, the web dev team, and nobody was really updating it. Like, all templates, uh, it was not localized, we had no metrics, uh, um, it, it, it wasn't great. And it was not part of our main download site, so people really had to, uh, uh, had to Google it. Uh, they had to find it. And of course, there was no SEO optimization, so it was actually even hard to find if you were looking for it. Uh, so now we have uh, uh, all of our builds are on Mozilla.org. So, so that means we changed some uh, infrastructure uh, that we use to ship uh, Firefox to have nightly, like, has a real channel. Uh, there is information in our tools uh, that tell us, like, the, the nighty version is this one, and we have uh, this local, this local, this local. Um, so that was a lot of work, and that's that pays. Like 15 days after uh, we put it up, uh, put it up on Mozilla.org, we had like 15 languages that had translated the download page. So now nightly is also on the pre-release page. Uh, we had we have a pre-release page that talks about the dev edition beta. It wasn't talking about nightly. Uh, and nightly is so. I mean, it's our main pre-release channel, the one that gives us the, the best feedback, because when people report a bug uh, for a regression that happened like yesterday or three days ago, it's very easy to back it up, uh, to, uh, to back it out. Uh, if, if it's like six weeks, 12 weeks, 18 weeks later, can be like more tricky, like just finding the regression range, and, and sometimes mechanically you cannot back it out because the code has changed too much around. Uh, so it's very important for us to uh, to get this feedback very early, and it's great that we have download pages. Uh, we changed the default bookmarks. Like the default bookmarks for nightly were the same as the uh, the release channel, so they were telling you. Uh, do you know what Mozilla is, or uh, are you looking for add-ons? I think the people that went to uh, the FTP site to download nightly, they, they can find add-ons. Uh, and and that's, uh, that was really the same bookmarks for the general public for, for everybody. Uh, they, they make sense for, for uh, the general public. They don't make sense for people that are very technical savvy. Uh, so we, now there are, uh, there are links that lead contribution, to contribution. They go to our IOC channel. We created an IOC channel for nightly. Uh, we opened the blog. So go to a blog, uh, visit Planet Mozilla, get, uh, get involved. Like we have the same get involved link, uh, but instead of going to like a general purpose, yeah, get involved in Mozilla, uh, spread stickers and so on, uh, which is useful. Uh, it's more like, uh, yeah, write patches, uh, file bugs. Uh, that's super useful. That helps us. Um, that's the, the, we don't want to change the, the people that use Nightly. The people that use Nightly, they are tech savvy. That's great for us. Doesn't mean that they're computer scientists, but that means that when they open a bug, uh, it's actionable. We can do something about it. Uh, they, they, they can, uh, we can have a conversation with the developer that is going to fix the bug, and the people, they understand each other. It's not just like, it's broken. Uh, so that's, uh, it's, it's very important for us. 
Uh, we have a blog, I mentioned it. Um, we, ha we have 90 users, and the, the problem with 90 is that it's not a release, or actually it's a release every day, um, so you don't get like release notes. And even though 90 users, they didn't know what was new, uh, because if some new feature is uh, in a menu, or if it's uh, a contextual menu, or if it's not like obvious, or if it's, if it's an option, you you probably are going to miss it and, and think like nothing is happening if it's not like user facing. Uh, but there is a lot of cool stuff that is happening that is not user facing. So we opened a blog uh, last summer and, and we are inviting everybody uh, to write to this blog. Like that means volunteers as well, that uh, not just uh, Mozilla employees. Like if somebody is organizing an event support nightly in uh, Vietnam, I, that would be great to have a, a post about it. Like there was a guy who wrote a, an article on how to install Firefox nightly and get it integrated with uh, Ubuntu Unity. That's a great article. Uh, and you get developers that tell us, like, I'm working on this feature, it landed yesterday, give us feedback, or, or you have uh, developers that make a recap, uh, this week in Firefox, this, this, this uh, landed, there's this new feature, this was fixed, and so on. Um, so that's, um, that's external communication. Um, so Because we have to fix all of the communication around nightly, external and internal. Uh, the Twitter account is super active now. We have just reached uh, 10,000 uh, followers. Uh, people, uh, eight months ago, when I took over the twi Twitter accounts, they were like sending uh, angry messages. Uh, my Firefox is uh, not working. What are you doing? And so on. And now uh, they really interact. Like they tell us, oh, I think this is broken because of this bug. Uh, can you look at uh, this? Because I think it was working before. And not now. Uh, so it's a very positive interaction now and very useful. So that's external communication. Uh, but we have, like, we have set up great internal communication in Firefox. Uh, we have this page about home with, uh, with uh, snippets, promotional snippets at the bottom. And we, we never used it for nightly. Uh, of course, we're not going to tell people that like, go to MOSFEST there. Uh, maybe they're not the right, uh, the, the right road. But uh, if I tell them, uh, we have this, uh, this problem on, on the Mac, and, uh, uh, and, and you appear to have the same configuration, and could you uh, have a look at this bag? Uh, or if I tell them, like, here, uh, we have a new menu in, uh, in Firefox Nike to report a, a broken site. Like, learn about it in this article. Uh, that brings value to, uh, to the user. It discovers new features. Um, that also brings, uh, so that, that improves retention. Like people know that there is something cool, and they discover they discover it, and they keep using Nightly. Um, that that also helps like growing the community. Um, in the French version of Firefox, so this is this is on the English version. This is on the Spanish one. Uh, so on this one, you see uh, that's a link to an article about quantum that the Spanish community, uh, Mozilla Hispano, has translated. Um, and this is the French one, uh, which is talking about an event that is going to, ha to happen uh, in uh, Mozilla Paris office in April uh, for localizers. Um, so we, c we can promote events like you can imagine that somebody that is using Firefox nightly in French uh, or in Russian instead of English, there, there's probably something that is very interested in Mozilla and they are also interested in their own language, otherwise they would be using the English version. Uh, so maybe they could uh, join your localization team, maybe they would be interested. So that there is a way to uh, interact with your users uh, and not just with your potential users. Uh, and uh, the what's new page. Um, so since uh, nobody was really taking, taking care of uh, Nightly, the what's new page had been deactivated. Um, that's the page that uh, appears every time you change of cycle, like when you go from five, 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 90, 53 to 54, the day changes, like the day your version number changes, you have this page that, uh, that gets displaced. Um, that's a very easy thing to set up. Uh, and now we have established a communication channel uh, with our uh, users. We are not like spamming them every day with a what's new page. No, it's just like every six to eight weeks, uh, they get a message like a a nice reminder, a reminder, you can get involved in Mozilla. Uh, here you can find more information, uh, but more like targeted at more technical people, like going to site, like 
like uh, what can I do for Mozilla? So I'm a C++ person, I could do that. I'm a Java person, I could do that, etc. cetera. Um, instead of uh, getting people involved in, in things we are already good at, like we are good at organizing events everywhere in the world that are for the general public. Uh, with, we don't need the help of 90 users for that. For that. So that's uh, the things that we did in the, in the last months was uh, fixing the download pro uh, process problem, uh, fixing external communication, but also fixing ex internal communication. Uh, so, so this is the most important for you, <laughs> for the two thirds uh, of the room that don't use Nightly. So what could you do to help? Um, promote Nightly. Um, so um, uh, I'm promoting it in French, I'm promoting it in English, I'm trying to promote it in Spanish, and that's the extent of my languages. Uh, so if you speak another languages than I do, uh, than the three I have mentioned, please uh, promote Nightly. Uh, we, ha we have a blog, maybe you can translate the interesting blog articles. Uh, we, we have events, uh, maybe uh, you could uh, organize events in your, uh, in your region uh, focused on, on testing, back to reaging, attracting like a more technical crowd, people that will be able to find a re regression range and say that this patch caused uh, this bug. Uh, that, that would be really cool. Uh, like, make some buzz uh, around it. Um, uh, and uh, do you have a patch in Nightly? So that's mostly for the people that are already involved in Mozilla. Like, uh, uh, employees, but also uh, volunteers that have patches in Nightly, talk about it on the, on the Mozilla blog. Uh, like, if you do something interesting related to Nightly, I will be very happy to promote your work, uh, to, promote, to promote it through the tools that we have, the external ones that I mentioned, the blog and Twitter, but also the internal ones, like we can put it on, uh, on About Home, uh, which is viewed by a lot of uh, users. Uh, we can put it on What's New Page for your language. We don't have to have the same What's New Page per language. We can, can have different information. Uh, whoops, sorry, that was the last slide. Yeah. And then uh, use Nightly as your main browser. If you use it on the side, it's great. Um, that's cool. Uh, Nightly has a telemetry activated by default that sends useful information to developers, uh, send your crashes. But if you can, please use it as your main browser, not your secondary browser. Uh, try to connect to your bank. Try to use all of your websites. Uh, that's, and tell us if it's broken. Uh, if a, a website is broken, like a banking site, it's very important to know. Um, triage bugs. Uh, that's also a very important thing to do. We get uh, an influx of like, lots of bugs every day, um, and there are not enough employees to, to triage all the bugs that go to bugsinamazina.org. Um, and then help people not comfortable with English reporting, uh, reporting bugs. That's what the French and Japanese communities do. Uh, people find bugs, but they are not comfortable finding bugs in English. Yeah, I'm, my time is up, I think. So help them. <laughs> I, I, I forgot to say that I'm very talkative. <laughs> no. Uh, wait a minute. OK. That's the last slide. Um, so the, the, the grand idea is to improve the quality from the start, like improve the f quality of Firefox. Uh, if we can improve the quality of Firefox significantly, maybe we could do that. Like only nightly beta release uh, and cheap faster and better software. So that's the idea. Yes, Jeff. Firstly, why would we really want to do that? What difference does eight weeks make given that we used to ship every year and a half and we thought, you know, we want to ship faster and we are shipping faster, but nah. And secondly, have we looked at automated browsing? Because it seems like you're saying, hey, everybody, run a browser that crushes more because then you can tell us all about the crushes when you lose all of your work. And it's like, that doesn't, you know, it's, it's hard to make that an attractive sell. If we had a whole bunch of machines that were just yeah. surfing the web and they were also producing crashes, you could say, well, we want some help with that. But if the machines aren't doing it and you're asking us to do it, that seems a little bit so, uh, so, several questions. So why are we doing it? Uh, the Aurora cycle is useful, but it's not giving us the feedback that it should. We don't have a lot of people on this uh, on this channel, and most of the people that are on this channel used to be Nike users. So basically, we get the bug reports, but six to eight weeks later. Uh, so that's not great. Um, also, it's promoted as a web dev uh, tool now, uh, 
Um, and uh, uh, we get a lot of reports for the DevTools, uh, but not for the rest of Firefox. Um, so it's still useful. It's, uh, uh, it's a stabilization step, uh, but it's not as useful as we hoped it would be. Um, so it's not that great. Um, the second thing is that we have a lot of people that want to ship faster in, internally in Mozilla. And it's true that some things like changing the size of a button uh, in, uh, in the UI, it could ship faster. Uh, so currently what we do is that we uplift a lot of things to, uh, to Aurora. So that's work for the release management team uh, to uplift lots and lots and lots of patches to uh, to Aurora and Beta to, to go to go faster. But basically, it could ship, uh, this could ship faster. Um, so that was why um, this channel is not that interesting. Uh, if we improve the quality on uh, nightly, uh, we don't really need uh, the, uh, the Aurora channel. The other thing is that uh, we, have, we don't have a lot of people on nightly. And since a lot moved to the Aurora channel, we don't catch the crashes on nightly. That means that Aurora is not stable. It's not as stable as you think you are. Uh, it is. Uh, it's because we didn't catch the crashes that we used to catch before. So if we grow the community on the nightly channel, we don't uh, we don't catch them uh, on the um, uh, on, on Aurora. So it's faster. Um, then you talked about automation. Uh, a lot of the crashes that we have, they are specific to the configuration of the people. Uh, graphic cards, uh, antivirus, uh, add-ons, uh, tons of things like the matrix is gigantic. So uh, everything that we know, we test uh, automatically. But uh, what we don't know, we cannot have tests for. And that's what we are looking for. And, and now we have just uh, landed the electrolysis. And electrolysis multi, multi processes, multi multi processes is on nightly now. And we have Quantum coming. Uh, that's a lot of groundwork, like important changes, like hundreds of thousands of lines of code that's all going to land. And uh, we will need this feedback uh, very, very, very early. Um, does it answer your question? Cool. <laughs> I will be available most of the time at the booth, at the Mozilla booth in uh, Building K, so don't hesitate to talk with me in French, Spanish, English. Uh, Pascal, can, uh, it's still working tonight because I'm going to have a laptop. Can I use your own laptop? Yeah. Um, I, uh, I can't use the mic. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. good. This is the thing. I need yeah. to have the other one. <laughs> and then I'll turn it on.
Everybody squeeze in, squeeze into the middle. Especially on that side. Could you tell them to be aware of the camera? Yeah. To do what, the camera? Okay, we're running a tight ship here, so we're going to get started. We're already five minutes over. A um, couple of quick things, please. Use all the empty seats that you can in the middle. Squeeze in, make room at the edges. We're going to have more people coming in just to cause as little disruption as possible. Plenty of room at the back. Don't stand in the aisles if possible. Um, if you're new to the room, we have a room code of conduct. Check it out, bit.ly, mosdem slash mosdem coc. Uh, as I said, it's unique to this room, separate from the FOSDEM code of conduct, so have a quick look when you can, please. Um, I'm going to introduce our next speaker, um, Alex, Alex Lakatos. Um, his friends call him Laka. Uh, but for some reason he's not fond of that. Um, he's a JavaScript developer by day and a Mozillian by night. Um, he wears many hats. Um, he's a reps council member and he's a tech speaker. And uh, little known fact, in his misguided youth, he got a casino dealer license. So uh, over to you, Alex. Take it away. Thank you. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm going to use actually the email slides. And I'm going to take a seat because I'm not as young as I uh, like to think. I want to talk today about such as that tools and uh, some tips and tricks I use in my daily life and sometimes in my nightly life uh, <laughs> to, to, to develop websites. So how many of you in the room are web developers? Yes, yes. OK, good, good for so most of you. Uh, I'm going to. If, if, if you have any questions, I'm going to be outside after this. I'm going to try to make it on time, though. So uh, let, let's get started. How would you open developer tools? This is just a, like a, a small little demo page I'm using. I'm shamelessly plugging my blog here, even though it has one, only one article. So how would you use the, how, how would you open the developer tools? Most people go right click and then there's inspect element in here somewhere. But that opens up like just the inspector on the element you clicked. There's another way you can go to tools web developer and then pick your, uh, pick your tool from there. Let's start with web console. Um, Good. So uh, I'm, I'm starting with Web Console just because this was the first and I always go there. But I want to show you Inspector first. Uh, the whole idea behind it is my, my, my blog is buggy and I kind of want to fix my button here. Uh, if I want to do that, I have to select my button. It's kind of, I'm not really sure which one is my button. There's more elements. Uh, but I have this little search field here uh, that helps me out with CSS selectors. And I'm using Material, so now this is going to be an MDL button. Now, if I try to search for it, it's going to show me my page has like four different buttons on it. Uh, so I'm gonna cycle through them until I get the one I want. Okay, so now I have my uh, now I have my button. Uh, come on, screen size. No luck, no luck. Good. Uh, so I can see my CSS the, the CSS for my button right here. It's not the color I'm, I want it to be. So I'm gonna try to look in here for uh, for colors, basically. Uh, now there's a lot of CSS, right? So I, I, 
I really don't know which one of them uh, is the one I'm looking for, but uh, trying to find the green sets of color is going to take me some time. But I have this uh, filter in, input here, and I can just say highlight.